I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will actually analyze first and second derivative to sketch the graph of the function. Question is use first and second derivative to analyze cubic function. Sketch graph of function f of x equals to x cubed minus 6x squared minus 15x plus 10. So let us find their derivatives first. So f of x is given to us as x cubed minus 6x squared minus 15x plus 10. So first derivative is 3x squared minus 12x uh, minus 15. Now we can factor this to find the zeros, right? So 5 times 15 times 3 is 45. So we have product as minus 45. We are looking for two numbers whose sum could be minus 12, right? So, so, so let me write down here. We are looking for product p times q as minus 45. That is product of these two. And sum of these two should be minus 12. Now, what are these two numbers? So 45, you can get as 9 times 5. Uh, then 3 times so one of them has to be negative and the other one has to be positive. So 3 times 15 really works for us, right? So, And the bigger number will be negative, correct. So we can write this as 3x squared minus 15x plus 3x minus 15, correct? So that is the magic number. So we uh, say 15x uh, and we'll replace that by 15 and 3, right? 3 plus. So now you can factor these two. So you get 3x and uh, you get x minus 5. Here you can factor 3. You get x minus 5. And then x minus 5 is a common factor. So you get 3x. I mean, so we could factor 3 also. So 3x plus 3. Let's write down first. Okay. And at this stage, we'll factor 3 also. So we get 3 x minus 5 times x plus 1. Well, you could have factored 3 from here itself and then it was much faster. Anyway, so what you get here is the zeros for the first derivative, correct? Now, once you get zeros for the first derivative, you can analyze for local maximum or minimum, right? So let us test the first derivative near zero. So we are now testing the first derivative. We know we have two zeros. One is at minus one. So let's say this is the zero at minus one. The other one is at five. Correct. So these are the two zeros. To test, we will take test points on either side of the zeros for the derivative. So one of the good test points is zero here, six here, and two. Correct. Now if I substitute 2, then what do I get? You can actually substitute and find the answer using calculator also, right? So if you substitute 2 here, 2 minus 5 is negative, but that is positive. So you get negative, right? So you get negative. If I substitute 0 here, then we get negative again, right? So 0 will make this positive, but this negative. So it is again negative. And at this point, I'm sorry, this number should have been minus 2, right? So if I substitute minus 2, this is positive. For 0, it is negative. And for 6, it is positive, correct? Now, rate of change being positive means that the, the graph f of x will be increasing in this interval, correct? Negative means it is going to be decreasing in this interval. Positive means that the graph of the function will be increasing. Now that gives us two points which are local extremas. So that is your local maxima. So let me write maximum value here, local maximum. And this is, you can also say relative, right? Relative minimum. So we have relative minimum at five and we have relative maximum at minus one, correct? So now what you can also do is find the values. That is to say, you can calculate what is the maximum and minimum value. 
So we can substitute minus 1 in the equation. So you get minus 1q minus 6 times minus 1 square minus 15 times minus 1 plus 10, right? So you can calculate this answer. So which is, uh, so first term is minus 1. So let me write down minus 1. And then we have minus 6, right? So minus 6. And this one minus minus becomes plus. So we have plus 15. And then plus 10, plus 10. And that gives us 18 as our answer, okay? So f of minus 1 is 18. Let us find what is f of 5. So f of 5 will be substitute 5 here. So we have 5q minus 6 times 5 square minus 15 times 5 plus 10. So that is 5q minus 6 times 25 minus 15 times 5 plus 10, right? So that gives you minus 90. So minus 90 is your minimum at 5. Now, so that is one way of finding. This is first test. Now we could have found maximum and minimum also from concavity. That is what we have learned in this chapter. So for that, what we need to do is to find second derivative. So let's find the second derivative. So second derivative for this function will be, we'll use this equation. Now second derivative will be 3 times 2, 6. Okay, 6x minus 12, minus 12. So we can take 6 common, we get x minus 2. So what we get here is that the second derivative is 0. So second derivative of 0 at x equals to 2. So what we get here is that f double dash of 2 equals to 0. So at that point, we could get point of inflection, correct? So at that point, we could get point of inflection. So let us test for point of inflection. Now, for the point of inflection, it is a must that the concavity should change on either side of point of inflection, right? So, so we have 2 here. Test point could be let us say 0 and let us say 3. So if I substitute 0, so we are testing the second derivative now, right? So if I substitute 0 here, I get a negative value, correct? Negative value means concavity is downwards. And if I substitute 3, I get positive value, so concavity is upwards. And therefore, we can say there is a point of inflection at 2, right? So, so at 2, there is a point of inflection. You can always find the value at 2 and then plug it into the answer, right? So that becomes the point of inflection. Alternate way to check the maximum minimum. Alternate for maximum minimum. We actually found that this is local maximum using first derivative test. We could have used second derivative also. That is kind of important to understand. If I substitute minus 1 here, what do I get? So second derivative at minus 1 is, if I write minus 1 here, I get negative, is negative. That means less than 0. So if it is less than 0, concavity on this side will be downwards, right? So it is negative, right? So it is kind of concave down. So that results into maximum. So if it is less than 0, we get maximum at that point, right? On the other hand, if I use the point 5, then the second derivative is positive, greater than 0. So that results into minimum at 5. So that is a direct test. If first derivative is 0 and second derivative is positive, in that case, we have minimum. If second derivative is negative, we get maximum, correct? Anyway, so what we have found here is local maximum minimum. And then we also have point of inflection, which is at 2, right? So let me now make a rough sketch over here. Okay. So first, point of inflection, we can also use the calculator to find the value at 2. So let me write down the value of the function at 2. We'll just squeeze it in here. For f of 2 is equals to 2 cube. 2 cube minus 6 times, let me write 4 here minus 15 times 2 is 30 plus 10. Okay, let's find this out. 2 cube is 8. So we have 8 minus 24 
okay minus 30 and plus 10 minus 36 so minus 36 is uh, the value for point of inflection so f of 2 is minus 36 let me write down here 2 and minus 36 okay now so we know that maximum is at minus 1 and 18 so let us say this is minus 1 for us minus 1 right so minus 1 and plus 18 let's say this is 18 for us right that is the maximum the minimum is at 5 minus 90 let's say so let us say this is 5 and we are not going out of the page that is 90 for us for the time being and then point of inflection is at 2 so let us say this is 2 let me now change the scale a bit okay so let me just make a scale like this this is this is minus 1 okay so this is this is 2 for us okay and then 2 and 2 4 and this is 5 not bad okay and we are considering this point to be the minimum okay so in that case and when we consider this as minus 90 80 will be closer okay of course y intercept is 10 remember that also so y intercept is 10 for us so we have a maximum here so we can go the graph goes like this okay on this side and on the other side we have a point of inflection at 2 and the y value is minus 36 right so 2 and minus 36 so it's kind of going like this so here we have point of inflection that means the change of concavity is kind of like this do you see that that is how it should change right and then it goes up so that is how you can sketch your function right so here at minus 2 minus 36 is the point of inflection that is a point of inflection for you this is the maximum so let us call this point maximum which is at minus 1 and 18 and then we have a minimum here let's say this is the minimum which is at 5 and minus 90 okay 5 and minus 90 point of inflection so using these points and you can see the concavity on the left side of 2 it is concave downwards on the right side of 2 it is concave up right so that is how you could sketch your function right so have a good look at it i hope that helps thank you